okay so we have understood the two conditions the two cases when the general uh, the linear equation the pair of linear equation will have solutions and what are the solutions that are possible for example if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 then we will say the equations will have definitely one solution if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 then we will say the equations will represent two pair lines uh, two uh, parallel lines okay now let us take the third case let us say l1 is an equation which represents x plus 2y is equals to 2 similarly let us say l2 represents 2x plus 4y is equals to 4 so these are the two equations again the same method first we will draw the graph of these two equations the straight line of these two equation and when and, and from that we will try to deduce the relationship between the coefficients okay now so first draw the solution table for this l1 equation l1 equation is x plus 2y is equals to 2 so the table will be this is x this is y let x is equals to let us say x is equals to 0 if x is 0 then value of y will be 1 if x is equals to let us say 1 then y will be equals to half ok similarly let us solve the second equation second equation is l2 is equals to is equivalent to 2x plus y uh, plus 4y is equals to 4 so 2x plus 4y is equals to 4 it is like this so this is x and this is y so now we can choose different values of x to calculate the different values of y for example let us cho uh, choose the value of x as equal to 2 let us say x is equals to 2 if x is equals to 2 then 2 into 2 is 4 so 4y four is equals to 4 minus 4 it means the value of y will be equal to 0 ok now let us choose x is equals to minus 2 ok minus 2 many kyo choose kara it totally depends on me ye mere upar hai ki mein kya value chahta hu aap chahe to minus 2 ki jaga minus 1 le sakte hai aap chahe to x ka value 0 le sakte hai or any other value jo aapko comfortable lage aap wo choose kar sakte hai it doesn't matter ki value aap kya choose kar rahe hai so let us say x is equals to minus 2 so this will be minus 4 ye term udhar jayega to 4y is equals to 8 ho jayega it means y ka value kitna a jayega 2 ok now let us plot these two equations this are, these are the solution table for these two equations first is x plus 2y is equals to 2 jab x ka value 0 hota hai to y ka value 1 hota hai so x is equals to 0 matlab ye y ka value 1 matlab ye point so this is the point which represents 0 comma 1 ok now when x is equals to 1 y is equals to half x is equals to 1 matlab ye wala point y is equals to half matlab ye wala point iske mid ka so this point will be this so this point will represent 1 comma half ok so the line which represents x plus 2y is equals to 2 will look something like this this will be the line l1 ok this is the line for l1 now second when x is equals to 2 y is equals to 0 so x is equals to 2 means this point and y is equals to 0 means this point only so this point will represent 2 comma 0 now when x is equals to minus 2 y is equals to 2 when x is equals to minus 2 means this point so this will be like this and minus 2 so this is minus 2 x is equals to minus 2 and y is equals to 2 so this point will lie here so this point will be minus 2 comma 2 ok so the line which represents 2x plus 4y 2x plus 4y is equals to 4 will be something like this
like this this will be the line l2 so what we can observe we can see that l1 and l2 are coincident kya kahenge hum we will say that the two lines l1 and l2 are coincident coincident lines or overlapping lines ye dono lines kaisi hain these two lines are coincident or we can say the overlapping lines it means the points the coordinates x comma y which satisfy l1 line will also satisfy l2 line hence this pair of linear equation will have infinite number of solutions means there are infinite number of x and y pairs available which which will satisfy these two equations which will satisfy both the equations hence we will say infinite solutions are possible because we will say the two lines are basically intersecting each other at infinite number of points two lines can intersect only either at one point or they can intersect at infinite points when infinite points when they overlap each other so in this graph we can see that both the equations are overlapping each other hence they are intersecting at infinite number of points so so the two lines are coincident it means they have infinite possible solutions so now what we can observe from this observation so the observation from this uh, conclusion from this <coughs> from this graph we can see that the first equation is x plus 2y is equals to 2 isko main aisa likh sakta hu x plus 2y minus 2 is equals to 0 so x plus 2y minus 2 is equals to 0 equation mein you will find the value of a1 is equals to 1 b1 is equals to 2 and c1 is equals to minus 2 similarly second equation is 2x plus 4y is equals to 4 so 2x plus 4y ko hum aisa likh sakte hain 2x plus 4y minus 4 is equals to 0 so from this equation you will get a2 is equals to 2 b2 is equals to 4 and c2 is equals to minus 4 so a2 b2 or c2 ka value aa gaya now let us calculate the value of a1 upon a2 so the value of a1 upon a2 will be 1 upon 2 the value of b1 upon b2 you will find it will be 2 upon 4 which is equal into 1 upon 2 and the value of c1 upon c2 is equals to minus 2 divided by minus 4 which is equal to 1 upon 2 so these are the three ratios jo ki humne baki do examples mein bhi nikale the and we are calculating the same ratios in this example also so you will find when you observe these three ratios carefully you will observe that a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 which is also equals to c1 upon c2 so this we call as the condition for condition for infinite solutions we will call this as condition for infinite solution or we will say this is the condition for coincident pair of straight lines this is what this is the condition for coincident pair of straight lines it means jo do straight line jo bhi pair of uh, linear equations jo bhi pair of linear 
इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स जो भी पेयर ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन इस तरह की कंडीशन रिप्रेजेंट करेगा दैट इज द रेशियो ऑफ कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स द रेशियो ऑफ कोफिशियंट ऑफ वाई एंड द रेशियो ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स इक्वल होंगे देन वी विल से दीज टू लाइन विल हैव इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन एंड दीज टू लाइन्स विल रिप्रेजेंट को इंसिडेंट लाइन्स और ओवरलैपिंग लाइन्स एंड सिंस दिस टू लाइन्स फॉर्म अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन we will say the pair of linear equation the pair of linear equations is consistent kya kahenge ise hum consistent kahenge because isme solutions possible hai हमने देखा था कि जिसमें यूनिक सॉल्यूशन था एक ही पॉइंट था इंटरसेक्शन का उसे भी हमने कंसिस्टेंट कहा जब हमारे पास एक भी सॉल्यूशन अवेलेबल नहीं था तो हमने उसे इनकंसिस्टेंट कहा लेकिन यहां पर हमारे पास इन्फाइनाइट सॉल्यूशंस अवेलेबल हैं, इसीलिए वी विल कॉल दिस ऑल्सो एज कंसिस्टेंट पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन बिकॉज दे हैव सोल्यूशन उनके पास सोल्यूशन अवेलेबल है सो दीज टू इक्वेशन रिप्रेजेंट अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन विच आर कंजिस्टेंट और दीज टू इक्वेशन रिप्रेजेंट कंजिस्टेंट पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इस तरह से आप बोलेंगे इस तरह से पढ़ा जाएगा ओके okay? आंसर में क्या लिखा जाएगा यू विल से दैट अगर इस तरह की कंडीशन कहीं पे बनती है देन यू विल से टू जनरल इक्वेशन द टू लीनियर इक्वेशन और द पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इज कंजिस्टेंट दैट इज ओके सो वट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट If the ratio of coefficient of x is equal to ratio of coefficient of y is equal to the ratio of constant term, then the two equations will represent a, a two incident, the two coincident straight lines, or the two equation, the two equations represent infinite solution. The two equation will have infinite solution, and third case that the two equations or the pair of linear equation is consistent. okay so in this manner you need to remember this again you need to remember this condition also so we have un understood three conditions so ise note kar lijiye then we will uh, write a table in which we will uh, discuss all the conditions hum ek sath sare conditions ko ek table ke form mein likhte hain aur wa isliye likhte hain because agar use ek bar likh liya jayega then it will be easy to remember okay from that we will draw some conclusions also so first you can note this ओके सो नाउ लेट अस कंक्लूड व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड टिल नाउ हमने जो अभी तक पढ़ा जो डिस्कस किया जो पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस के बारे में समझा उस चीज को हम कंक्लूड करते हैं कंक्लूड कैसे हम एक टेबल के थ्रू कंक्लूड करेंगे आप इस तरह से अपनी नोटबुक में एक टेबल बनाएंगे जहां पे आप हेडिंग्स डालेंगे द फर्स्ट इज कंडीशन सेकेंड इज नेचर थर्ड इज ज्योमेट्रिकल और ऑब्लिक ग्राफिकल कंडीशन देन ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड देन कंक्लूजन so these are some headings one two three four and five five headings job apni copy mein dalenge and we will fill this table so let us assume let us assume a pair of straight lines or a pair of linear equation kuch bhi keh sakte hain so the pair of linear equation is let us say l1 is first equation which is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equals to 0 and the second equation is a two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. So these are the two equations which form a pair of linear equation or form a pair of straight lines. Okay. So first, the condition is the first condition that we will understand is that if a one upon a two is not equals to b one upon b two. सो so, हमने ये चीज पढ़ा है हमने इस कंडीशन को समझा है कि अगर a1 वन अपॉन ए टू बी वन अपॉन बी के बराबर नहीं होता तब क्या कंडीशन होती है सो इफ ए वन अपॉन ए टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी वन अपॉन बी टू देन वी हैव सेट दैट द नेचर ऑफ दिस पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इज कंजिस्टेंट ओके द नेचर इज कंजिस्टेंट इन दोनों इक्वेशन का इस पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन का नेचर कैसा है कंसिस्टेंट है एंड व्हाट वी विल दे रिप्रेजेंट ग्राफिकली और ज्योमेट्रिकली ग्राफिकली ये चीज क्या रिप्रेजेंट करती है वी विल से ग्राफिकली द स्पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन विल रिप्रेजेंट 
टू स्ट्रेट लाइन्स विच आर इंटरसेक्टिंग विच आर इंटरसेक्टिंग एट वन पॉइंट इट विल रिप्रेजेंट टू स्ट्रेट लाइन्स विच आर इंटरसेक्टिंग एट वन पॉइंट एक सिंगल पॉइंट पे इंटरसेक्ट करने वाली दो स्ट्रेट लाइन्स के बारे में हमें ये इक्वेशन बताएंगी ओके नाउ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन तो ग्राफिकली वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट इट लाइक दिस लेट अस से दिस इज एल वन लाइन एंड दिस इज एल टू लाइन सो ग्राफिकली ये दो इक्वेशन कुछ इस तरह से दिखाई देंगी दिस विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेशन ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इफ द कंडीशन इज ए वन अपॉन ए टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी वन अपॉन बी टू नाउ वट कंक्लूजन कैन वी ड्रॉ फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ और फ्रॉम दिस कंडीशन we will say this pair of linear equation will have only one solution or we will say it will have a unique solution unique ka matlab hota hai one unique means something which is unique unique means something which do not have any copy which is individual which do not have any copy jo ki ek hi exist karti hai for example In our solar system, I will say star is a unique. Okay, uh, sun is unique. Sun is unique मतलब पूरे solar system में एक ही sun available है. Okay, Earth is unique. Earth जैसा कोई दूसरा planet available नहीं है. Hence, इस solution में भी सिर्फ एक uh, इस pair में भी सिर्फ एक ही solution available है. कोई दो solutions available नहीं है. Now, second condition. Second condition is a one upon a two is equal to b one upon b two. But this is not equal to c1 upon c2. So we have studied this kind of graph. What it will going to represent? What will be the nature? The nature of this graph will be in uh, the nature of this equations. The pair of linear equation will be inconsistent. Okay, the pair of linear equation will be inconsistent, and what it what it will represent graphically or geometrically? We will say it will represent. a pair of it will represent a pair of parallel lines okay so this condition if a1 upon a2 is not equal to sorry is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 then it will going to represent a pair of parallel lines do parallel lines ka ek pair represent karegi ye condition and how will you draw it graphically graphically hame kuch aisa dikhai dega let us say this is line l1 and let us say this is the line l2 so graphically it will look something like this now what conclusion can we draw from this graph we will say this pair of linear equation do not have any solution इस पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन के इन दोनों इक्वेशन में अगर कंडीशन ये है a1 वन अपॉन ए टू बी वन अपॉन बी के बराबर है बट c1 वन अपॉन सी के बराबर नहीं है दैट इन दैट केस दिस इक्वेशन दिस पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन विल डू नॉट हैव एनी सॉल्यूशन पॉसिबल सो दिस विल बी द कंडीशन एंड द थर्ड कंडीशन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड इज द थर्ड कंडीशन a1 वन अपॉन ए टू इज इक्वल्स टू पी वन अपॉन बी टू इज इक्वल्स टू सी वन अपॉन सी टू दिस इज द थर्ड कंडीशन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड और जब ये कंडीशन होती है देन वॉट वॉट विल बी द नेचर ऑफ द पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इस पेयर का नेचर कैसा होता है द नेचर ऑफ दिस पेयर विल बी कंजिस्टेंट ओके the linear equation the pair of linear equation will be consistent we will call it call it as consistent now what it will represent graphically or geometrically the graphical representation of this kind of condition will be two straight 
lines overlapped or coincident straight lines we call it as coincident straight lines means aise do straight line jo ki bilkul ek dusre ke upar hai okay now graphically ye kaisa dikhai dega it will look something like this this will be let us say l1 and this will be let us say l2 this is l2 so l1 and l2 will be overlapping ek dusre ke upar overlap hongi now what conclusion can we draw from this we will say the two equations will have infinite solutions okay infinite solutions means aise bahut sare x aur y ke pairs honge which will satisfy these equations dono ko ek sath satisfy karenge means aise bahut sare common solutions honge jo ki dono equations mein aa rahe honge hence we will say this pair of linear equation will have infinite possible solutions and the nature will be consistent kab hoga aisa jab condition hoga a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 and also equal to c1 upon c2 okay so in this way we need to remember this table hame ye cheez yaad rakhni hai because this will be applied in the questions so isse note kar lijiye then we will discuss some of the questions related to this concept 